Is it easy to do interior animations in Blender? Yes. Before we start, hit the like button, because what I'm about to show you is how to animate interior furniture in Blender with ease. You will need to make a scene in Blender, not real life, or just open one that you've already made. Something like this interior we have here, which we already did, along with many full tutorials on interior, you can see all that in one place. So check the description. With this scene done for render, the first thing to do is organize the layers, or at least put the models you want to animate in one collection. Next step is to make sure each object is fully joined and alone. See here, each book or any piece of furniture is one object, and you can fix that by selecting it one by one. Then in edit mode, choose all the parts in one object and hit Ctrl J to join it together. Then once you're done, Select all objects and make sure the origin is at center or at bottom if you want to animate from that direction, because the origin will control the object transformation. Before animating the models in the scene, you can add a simple camera rotation. I usually add an empty, place it on any focus area, like the desk table in my scene. After that, I can select my camera and parent it to the empty using a child constraint, where the empty is the target. This way, any transformation on the empty, including rotation and scale, will affect the camera view. I can select the empty at any frame, hit the I key to add a key frame on rotation and scale, or any other transformation you want, then go back to another frame in the timeline, rotate the empty, even scale it around for close-up shot, and hit I again for another key. Thus, animating the camera to show the scene. Keep in mind, you need to choose the timeline's frame first, then rotate the empty, and hit I to add a keyframe. Once you're done with the camera, we need to start animating the models, and it's with the same keys method, so pick them one by one, maybe start with the carpet, and you need to add the end key first, because your scene is done, so it will end up in the place they at before you start animating. So add a key frame to the carpet while in place, then go a couple of frames back in the timeline, move the carpet outside the camera frame, maybe scale it down or rotate it, and hit I for another key on all transforms. The chair will go the same. Add a key at any point in the timeline, then go back a bit and move it outside the shot to transform it with another key on it. You can at any point edit those keys, or move them to make the animation faster or slower. Maybe even add a slow rotation at the end of some models to give some dynamic in the shot. You can also apply key frames on multiple objects at once. Do the same method we did before. Then, once you're done, pick the object one by one and play with the end key frame to slow or fast some of them. Thus, make a difference in their speed. You can add a noise modifier to the camera for some shaking while the objects still flying around. You can do path animations for the main parts like the sofa or the desk table, but that's for another time. You can even hit the like and subscribe, cuz why not? And that's about it. See you in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.